Hello everybody and welcome to my channel or welcome back. This channel is all about unboxing luxuries, shopping vlogs, and manga, and Vivian Westwood, Dior, everything like that. So if you're interested, make sure to subscribe. But this video I'm going to be doing a kind of like a birthday haul, manga shopping vlog, and um, a manga unboxing. So throughout the days that I get these packages, I'm going to unbox them and I'm just going to put it into one big video. So I hope you guys enjoy. So this first package is actually from Crunchyroll. Let's get this open. I'm super excited. It's actually been a little while since I have gotten or bought a big haul of mom. incurable case of love this is by the same mangaka that did happy marriage and did sp baby and i think she has one more but i can't really remember i am super excited to finally read this i have been pushing it off for so long i'm a really big fan of the art style i think it's super cute and i'm so excited to just read a new romance by a new mangaka so if you guys would like to read what this is about, I do know she's a nurse and I'm pretty sure he's a doctor and it's kind of just a romance between the two. I'm super, super, super excited to read this. And then obviously I'm going to binge the two first volumes to see if I like it. They are so cute. I think they become enemies to lovers. I think that's the trope, but I'm so excited to get into it. Next we have my favorite series ever, Our How a Ride. I've read this whole series but now I am finally collecting the whole thing so I'm super excited to really finish this whole series in my collection. Since it is my favorite series I'm so surprised that I don't have every volume yet <laughs> but I absolutely love, love, love the art style. It's my favorite art style, one of my favorite manga cuz, so I'm super excited to finally, hopefully, complete my collection soon of Our How Ride. So this is obviously volume 5, and then I also got volume 6. The covers are so cute. I love the spines, I love how simple they are, and the back covers are always so gorgeous. So this is everything from the first box, and I will catch you guys when I get the next one. Alright, so I just got the second package in the mail. I got this off of Makari. This is actually a gift from my boyfriend for my birthday. So, let's unbox it. Alright, so, here they are. So this is the series on Akimi. I got volumes one to three. So this series is about this girl and I know she likes one of these boys and um, she dresses up like a boy to go to an all boys high school and I guess just like stalk him. <laughs> but here is the back. So I guess they end up becoming roommates, etc, etc. So, I'm excited to read this. I haven't really heard much about it. I think the art style is really cute and I'm so excited to jump into it. But these volumes are in pretty good condition. I think all of these were literally $10. So. I'm excited to add them to my collection. So I will see you guys when the next package comes.
Okay, everybody, so here is the next package. Um, so I actually started unboxing this and realized that I wasn't recording. <laughs> so I'm going to re-unbox it for you guys, but I hope you guys don't mind. Um, before we get into this package, I just wanted to tell you guys that this was a struggle. So this is from Crunchyroll. This has literally nothing to do with Crunchyroll on why this is happening. It's just my post office. Um, so our old mail lady ended up retiring and the new people coming in to deliver stuff have been losing people's packages left and right. Um, and they marked this package as lost. So Crunchyroll sent me a, a refund and uh, literally right after they gave me a refund, I was in school and I repurchased the books and I shipped them to my boyfriend's house because he's not having any problems with his with his delivery um they were on my doorstep so i um then i asked for a refund <laughs> of the purchase that i just made and it turns out that they already um are processing the order and it cannot be canceled so i have to wait till those are shipped to me and then i have to ship them back to get a refund but um once again, nothing wrong with Crunchyroll service. Their customer service is so amazing and I'm so grateful um, that they are able to help me throughout these packages. I have a lot of packages coming, so I really hope that it's not a reoccurring cycle of my packages. <laughs> But um, this package I'm super excited about because there's a series in it that I really, really, really want to read. So let's just get right into it. It's like our fourth package that we're opening. So here are the volumes that I got. Let's start with Sakura Saku Volume 1. So this is by the same mangaka that did Our How a Ride. Um, I'm a big fan of Our How a Ride. It is one of my favorite mangas. If you guys would like to see what this manga is about, there you go. Um, I, she is also the same mangaka as Strobe Edge and Lomi Lomi Nod. I wasn't a fan of Strobe Edge and I was not a fan of Lomi Lomi Not, but Our How Ride will forever always be one of my favorite mangas. Her art has definitely changed. Uh, Our How Ride is my favorite art style ever. So I'm excited to jump into this. I only know a little bit about it. Um, so I do want to read the first volume before I pre-order any more of them. Buying series in kind of like bulk, not just like single volumes because I'm kind of sick of just getting single volumes. Um, but volume two is on pre-order. And if I do like this volume, I will most definitely pick up volume two. I don't know when I'm going to get around to reading this because I do have a lot of volumes that I need to read and I need to catch up on. But this will definitely be on my BR. So the next series is SP Baby. Um, this is by the same mangaka as An Incurable Case of Love and Happy Marriage. Um, I really, really, really want to read Happy Marriage, but uh, Amazon selling volume one for $200. I don't know if the series is out of print, but the last time I knew, I didn't think it was, but maybe it is. So this series is about her becoming his bodyguard off of some instances. This is for older teen. So I'm not sure if it is like smutty at all. It, the volumes aren't wrapped, but I do know An Incurable Case of Love Volume 4 does have some things in it, but it's not wrapped, so it's not like smutty smutty. I wonder how Volume 2 is going to end. I'm really excited to jump into it. I really, really like the art style.
but I won't flip through volume two because I don't want to get spoiled and I don't want to spoil you guys. <laughs> I'm excited that I was able to finally receive these volumes. So that is it for this package and I'll see you guys when I'm unboxing the next one. Okay, everybody, so here we are with four packages. Um, so as I said in the last clip, I had problems with my mail and stuff like that. So they finally figured it out and I'm slowly but surely getting my packages. But um, one of these was shipped to my boyfriend's house, which is the big one, and I picked that up today. And out of nowhere, these three were on my doorstep. I'm excited that these unknowingly showed up today. I feel like it's whenever I'm not expecting a package at all, they just show up. <laughs> but let's start from smallest and then we'll go to the biggest. So here is the small one. Let's get into it. So I actually have no clue what are in each of these packages um, because I didn't uh, look at which ones were delivered. So I guess it's gonna be a surprise for both of us. <laughs> There's only one book in this one. So much packaging for just one book. So here is Wolf Girl in Black Prince, volume three. I'm not going to talk about this volume because I think later on in the video, I talk about volume one. They actually have bought in up to five um, and six is on pre-order. I haven't even read one volume of this, but I already can tell that I'm gonna like it. I just want to have like some series just to like kind of read in bulk. So I'm excited. I'm not gonna flip too much because I don't want to give any spoilers, but there is the first volume. Next package. I think it's so fun unpacking all of these like at once. I'm kind of happy that they all came at the same time. But I'm pretty sure tomorrow, I think I'm getting like, I think I'm getting like five packages tomorrow. Um, so that's gonna be fun. <laughs> So excited so let's just pull out the first volume so here is volume two of no longer heroin it's a little bit scratched up but that's okay i haven't read volume one yet uh oh it's okay i only bought up to two because i don't know if i'm gonna like this series i want to have the first two volumes to kind of ease into it so this series is kind of everybody's saying it's supposed to make you mad it's a very interesting manga so i'm excited to read it but i'm not really too enthusiastic about reading it eventually i'll get to it like it's it's one that i want to read but i'm probably not going to read it anytime soon i kind of don't like that this volume has a black spine and the first one has a white spine I like the art style though. So the next volume is volume three of An Incurable Case of Love. Um, I completely, sorry to spoil it for you guys, but in this haul, I did buy every single volume, all seven volumes. So I'm really, really excited to read this really like this mangaka and um sp baby is probably one of my favorite ever right now so i'm super excited to read the rest of her uh shoujos um i actually got my hands on volume one of happy marriage which will be coming up obviously in this unboxing i love her art style and i'm so excited to binge this whole series So here's volume two of Wolf Girl and Black Prince. As I said earlier, I bought all five of the volumes. I'm actually surprised that the girl is not on any of the covers. So there is volume two. This one I actually didn't know was coming this quick. I actually thought I ordered this by itself. Maybe they did like a 
combined shipping. Oh, I'm so excited to read this. I read volume one and I really enjoyed it. The covers are literally so gorgeous for this series. I have volume three pre-ordered, which I don't think is gonna be in this unboxing video because I wanna get this out as soon as I can. But um, I do talk about this series later on in the video. And the art style is so gorgeous. I literally cannot get over it. <laughs> so the last volume in this package, volume four of Game Between the Suits. I have read volume one of the series. But it looks like there's some dark stuff that happens in this volume, so I won't flip anymore. I'm on volume two right now. I haven't started it, but I am excited to. I'm excited to see how the relationship ends up. I think this is the only volume that I bought from Crunchyroll. Maybe I got volume five, but I can't remember. <laughs> now let's move on to this package. So I just took them out of the packaging and I'm gonna pull them out one by one for you guys. So, the first one in this package is Wolf Grown Black Prince Volume 4. I really like how every cover is like a different color. Next one is Volume 5 of Wolf Grown Black Prince. This one's red. So cute. Next is a new series to my collection, Takane and Hana, Volume 1. This is a age gap series that I have been anticipating to read for a long time. If you guys would like to see what it's about, there you go. So I know it has stuff to do with an enraged marriage. I think the art style is super cute. I've heard people talk about how this series is really, really hilarious. So I'm super excited to get into it. Then, obviously, I had to pick up volume two to go with my wand. I do think that I got volume three also in a later package. I think the spines are really cute. This back cover is really pretty. I do know this series, I think, is 18 volumes. Pretty long, but if I like, like how it is past the third volume, then I'll definitely pick up the rest of them. Last but not least, Our How I Ride, Volume 7. My goal is to finally complete collecting this series. Probably my first or second favorite shoujo series ever. Still very surprised how I have not collected all of it. But I'm so excited because I'm going to reread this series and I'm just... I'm excited. So the last package of this little segment. So speaking of Takane and Hana, here is volume three. These covers are so cute. Next is An Incurable Case of Love, Volume 4. So another new series that I'm adding to my collection is Virgin Love, Volume 1. Cover is so nice on this. I thought it was going to be like glossy, but no, this is very textured. So if you guys would like to see what it's about... I don't know if I'll like this series because I've never really liked um, mangas where they move into like a house with like a bunch of boys. I think uh, like Strobedge and I think there's one other one, but I can't remember it. 
but I'm excited to give this manga a go. The art style is really, really pretty. It's like really detailed. Wow. Really excited to read this. Um, I know volume 2 is on pre-order. I'm not sure if I'm going to pre-order. I'm probably going to read this first volume, feel it out, and if I do like it, I will most definitely pick up volume 2. So next volume is a very, very, very long-awaited... I don't know why it took so long to finally get this. So this is Doubt. I think everybody has probably seen this manga or this manga ka. So here's what it's about, if you guys would like to read it. I think I got this volume for 10 bucks because I had such like a big discount. And I've really, really, really have been wanting to read this for a long time. So I am so excited that I finally picked it up. The art style is really pretty. This is like, I think, like a murder mystery. Um, I know there is a volume two. Um, I'll definitely have to feel this one out. And if I like it, I'll get volume two. So there is volume one of Doubt. Another new series to my collection is Ice Guy and Cool Girl. Um, these are really, really, really thin. I actually didn't think that they were going to be this thin. And for $15 a volume, wow. Thank God I got a good discount on these. Here is what it's about. I actually don't know what this manga is about, so I'm going to be going in blind. But it just looks so pretty. Like, look how beautiful the art is. This is probably going to be like a 20 minute read. Not even. So it sucks that these volumes are so expensive. Um, but I got the first two volumes, so I could definitely feel it out. The second volume is literally so, 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 so pretty. I don't know if the others are on pre-order. I'm not sure how many volumes there is going to be of this series. Or, I don't think it's fully out. I think there are pre-orders, but... Um, so if I like these first two volumes, I might just pick up the rest of them, but I'm not sure because $15 for a volume that is thinner than my pinky, I think I might have to pass, but I'm excited to read it. So here are all the volumes from this unboxing. As always, I will see you guys when the next package arrives. here we are the next day with our four packages one of these packages is going to be returned i think it's the smaller one on top because this is the package that i talked about like two unboxings ago <laughs> but let's just put this one to the side let's start off with this small little parcel this is from amazon i hate when those don't work so here is another new series to my collection, Ladies on Top. I'm so excited to read the series. I bought every single volume. Um, so this is another title that is a part of Steamship. I've been enjoying all the Steamship titles. Um, Between the Suits is, Game Between the Suits is also a Steamship title. And the other one that I got is I Can't Refuse S. I think there's like two more, three more that are part of Steamship that I haven't picked up but i am so excited to read this i'm excited to have a more like different kind of sexual romance so this is a smut it is about this boy and he ends up figuring out that like he likes being the submissive one and she likes being the dominant one so they end up obviously trying out new things with each other and it seems so interesting. It's also a really short series. It's only seven volumes or six volumes. I can't really remember. But I do have the last volume on pre-order. The art is literally so adorable. I'm super excited to jump into this one. And the, the cover, it like pokes out, which is really cool.
One thing I just noticed, there's a a red dot <laughs> in my book. Doesn't really bother me any because I got this off Amazon and I got it secondhand. So I literally paid like four bucks for this. And I think it was like good condition and it came in some pretty good condition to be four dollars <laughs> let's move on to the next one let's, let's open this one i literally just opened that huge box for only one volume Do you guys see how much paper this is? Ridiculous. But, so the volume that was in that unnecessary package is Ladies on Top Volume 5. Like I said, I ordered every single volume. The covers are literally so pretty and they're so cute. I won't flip too much because I don't want to give any spoilers. But there is volume 5. I'm guessing there's probably only going to be one volume in this package. Ooh, there's actually more than one in here. The two volumes that were in there were three and four of Ladies on Top. The covers are so cute. So here's number three. And then number four. So that just leaves this package in which I don't think I'm going to open this because I do know that it's SP Baby 1 and 2 and Sakura Saku Volume 1. So I'm going to keep this closed because obviously I do have to return it. But this is every single volume from those three packages. So excited to read this series. It seems so interesting and so fun. So I will see you guys in the next clip. Okay, so here is the next package that I got in the mail. I am literally so, 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 so excited for this one. I got such a good deal. I got this from, I think it's called like Pango Books. I'll put it right here. Um, because I just one day searched up this book to see if I could get it cheaper because I was willing to pay like some money for it, but I didn't want to pay a lot. So I wanted to check. Um, and I came across a really good deal. Let's just open it so I can show you guys and really talk about it. <laughs> Happy Marriage Volume 1. I am so excited that I actually found the first volume. I'm not sure how many volumes there are. But I do know after Volume 2, they are pretty easy to collect. So it's just volumes one and two are just pricey. So um, on Amazon, I think this this volume's going for around two hundred dollars. I think it's like one ninety nine. And on eBay, there's like some forty dollar listings. It's just like forty uh, to two hundred, I guess. Um, and I found this for ten dollars on Pango Books. I'm guessing I think it's like Makari. There are such cheap manga on there. It's literally insane. I wish I knew about it earlier, but I obviously did not. So this is what it's about. It's obviously about arranged marriage. If you don't know the series by now, this mangaka is actually one of my new favorite mangakas. I'm reading Caribou Kids Eleven. I just read SP Baby and. I am literally obsessed with the art style. I bought all of An Incurable Case of Love. I'm obsessed with their art style. I'm obsessed with the stories that they have. They're always so interesting. I love the drama. SP Baby is definitely one of my favorite series ever. Um, and you guys literally just saw me unbox it and I already fell in love with it. I love the spine. I think it's super cute. I'm not sure if this series is out of print or if it's just like hasn't been published for a long time. Um, but I am so excited to jump into the series. So that is the only volume for this clip. 
All right, so I actually just packed my mail and my porch and I got two packages. This is actually the same day. So I am going to open these guys for you. So this one is from Amazon and this has actually been lost for I think almost a month now. So I'm happy that I finally received it in my mailbox. All right, so here is the volume that I picked up. It is Kimi Todoke Volume 3. Um, so I got this on Amazon for literally $4. So I was like, why don't I just snatch it for $4? Because condition doesn't really mean anything to me really anymore. So as you can probably tell, it's pretty yellowed. The sides and the bottom are fine, so the top is like... It's a lot more orangey in person. Earlier on in the video, I unboxed volume one. I'm eventually gonna get volume two. I do wanna collect this series. It's just there's so many volumes and I don't really know when I'm gonna get around to it. I think I'm gonna watch the anime first and then I'll jump into this, but volume two you can get pretty cheap still. I really, really like the art style, but there is volume three of Kimi ni Chidoke. So let's get on to the box from Crunchyroll. Finished my incurable case of love uh, collection. So here is volume five, volume six, and volume seven, which is the final volume. As you guys could probably tell when I was unboxing Happy Marriage, I'm a huge fan of this manga and I'm super excited to have another series completed in my collection. I'm on the first volume and I'm really, really enjoying it. They are literally so adorable. Art from volume five. But I do not want to spoil anything. There's five, six, and seven of An Incurable Case of Love. So there are all the volumes that I got in these packages. And I'll see you guys when I open up the next ones. Here we are with the next packet. So this one is also from Crunchyroll. So I know this is only one volume. Here's the second volume of Ladies on Top. So this means that I've officially received all the volumes that are currently out. I'm obviously still waiting for six because that one is on pre-order, but I'm so, 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 so excited to binge this series. I really enjoyed volume one. So I'm very excited to see where their relationship goes. I do love the art style. So that is Ladies on Top, Volume 2. So here we are with two more packages from Amazon. So we can start with this one. So here is Happy Marriage, Volume 2. I got this one, obviously, secondhand on Amazon. It's a little bit dirty, but nothing cleaning can't do. So as you guys could probably guess, I am collecting Happy Marriage, and I did buy every single volume except Volume 4, because Volume 4 is like $50. I got Volume 2, um, I think I paid like $5 for this one. Let's just move on to the next one. So here's Volume 5. I paid, I think, $20 for this one, or it was $15, i am not really sure. So I'm happy to have these two volumes, a little bit harder to get. I actually, no, I think two was like 20 and then I think five was like $5. So that's, and that's what I think it was. But here we are. So those are the only two for this little unboxing. So I'll see you guys in the next one. So here is the next package. All right. 
right, so the series that was in this package is Happy Marriage. I actually ended up buying all of Happy Marriage. You guys probably saw earlier me unbox two, one, two, and five. So this is the rest of it, except for, I don't know when I'm gonna get four, it's just so expensive. So here is seven, three, 10, which is wrapped, eight, six, which is also wrapped, and then nine, which is wrapped. I actually didn't know that this series had wrapped volumes, but I'll show you guys some panels from volume three so I don't spoil any of the later volumes. I'm really, really excited to get into this. I am on the last volume of an incredible case of love and I'm loving it. I love SP Baby, as I said, like multiple times in this unboxing video, but I'm super, super, super excited to jump into the series. I'll have to read volume four online, but other than that, I was happy that I was able to find all these volumes in stock. So that is everything for this package.
everybody i am back from the mall and back from barnes and nobles and i am excited to show you guys what i got i never actually got anything at that little thrift store in the mall i only had a small little clips of it but they did have some good stuff but i wasn't really interested in anything they had as always barnes and nobles had almost everything that i was looking for they didn't have any hour hour ride which is sad i wasn't really looking for much more because i kind of had everything that i was looking for which I am really happy about. Let's just get straight into it. I swear, some of these volumes are getting so expensive. I spent a hefty penny at Barnes & Nobles, and I didn't even get that many books. But the first book is No Longer Heroin. So this book is about this girl that's at school, and she's obviously, like, the main character. And I guess this boy comes in, and he starts making more drama than her. So I think she, like, starts to question herself if she's really the main character or if he is. But you guys can read this to actually get, like, the real description. <laughs> I'm a big fan of the art style. I, like, really, really like it. And I'm excited to read this. They did have volume two, but the spine was banged up, so I didn't get it. And I feel like I've already spent enough money, so maybe even after I'm done filming, I might jump into this volume. <laughs> But let's go to the next one. The next one is Wolf Girl and Black Prince. I really wanted to check it out. I thought it sounded really fun. So here is the back. So it's about, I think, this girl. And she tells her friends that she has a boyfriend. And she actually doesn't. So she takes a photo of a random guy on the street. And turns out he's the most popular, particularly the prince of the school, most popular boy. And she has to go up to him and be like, can you pretend to be my boyfriend? And he asks a very strange question. He asks, I think, like, can you be my dog or something like that? It's kind of wild, but <laughs> I'm excited to read it. So next is I Can't Refuse, volume one. I Can't Refuse. S. Um, I haven't seen anything about this, but my boyfriend was shopping with me. He pointed out and I was like, huh, that kind of seems interesting. I was like, I'll just get it because I think it would be fun just to get a random manga volume today and just read it. But it is wrapped. It is steamy. But I want to open it up to see the art style. It is literally so pretty. Oh my goodness, I love the art style. I have to be careful where I flip, but <laughs> I'm excited. I'm not too happy that this volume was $15. Um, I know Yen Press came out with Steamship, so this is Yen Press. They have like different, I guess, branches, but I am excited to read this. Um, and I need, I think I need some more steamy things because the only steamy thing I have is Yakuza Lover. So I'm excited to read this. The next series is probably the main series that I went there for is Game Between Suits 1, 2, and 3. This is also by Steamship. Um, these were all $15, sadly, but um, these are all wrapped. And I am really excited to see this. When I saw this on the shelf that they had all three in stock, I literally grabbed all of them. And I was like, hold these to my boyfriend. <laughs> but here is volume one, volume two, and volume three. I think the covers are really pretty. So let's unwrap volume one and I will show you guys the description on the back. So here it is. Um, I don't really know much about this, so I really can't explain it to you guys. Well, I know what it's about, but I don't really know how to, like, explain it that well, because it's been a little while since I've heard it. Let's look through. Um, so, oh, I guess I better be careful with this one, too. Okay, couldn't show you guys that one. But there, that is all I can show you guys because half of the pages that I just flipped to, I couldn't put on YouTube. So, as you guys can probably tell, this is a very steamy manga. <laughs> Alright, here they are unwrapped. I think they are super pretty. I think the spines are really simple. But I'm not going to flip through these because I don't want to spoil it for you guys or me. 
So there are the three last volumes. So these are the only volumes that I got from Barnes and Nobles, but I'm super happy with what I got. And I will see you guys in the next clip. Okay, so this part is me showing you guys what I unwrapped on my birthday. So these are from my sister. This one I picked up in Kino Kenya on New Year's and this one I got from my dad. So the first series is Daytime Shooting Stars. I've been wanting to read this series for quite a while. I finally, you know, asked for it for my birthday. Uh, my sister ended up getting me them, so I'm super grateful. Um, so this is what it is about. I know it's an age gap and a teachers and student love story. So it is about this girl and this guy right here. Um, so warning, disclaimer, if you don't like age gaps and stuff like that, I probably wouldn't read this series. I actually do like the art style. And if you guys couldn't tell already, I'm very picky when it comes to the art style in the mangas that I read. So, I do enjoy it. It's not my favorite art style in the world, but I think it's really pretty. So I won't make this too long, but that is Daytime Shooting Stars. The next volume I got is Volume 1 of Neighborhood Stories by Ayazawa. So this is the same mangaka that did Nana and uh, Paradise Kiss. I am literally obsessed with Nana. Nana is probably my favorite anime ever. <laughs> and I was in New York and I went to the Kino Kaniya in Times Square. And I'm kind of mad at myself that I didn't get the Kino Kaniya um, exclusive cover. I don't know why I didn't. At the time, I liked this cover more, but now I really like the other cover, but who cares? I paid $25 for this volume. I'm not sure if there's multiple volumes in this but I'm not really sure. As always, who doesn't love her art style? <laughs> I started reading this volume and I'm not a big fan of it so far. Um, so I probably won't be getting the other volumes anytime soon. I haven't read all the way through this volume. It's just so far, I'm not really, it's not really my cup of tea, so I'm probably going to wait it out and pick this up in the future and try it out again. I think the spine is cute too. Next is A Liminal Zone by Junji Ito. This, the art in this, I kid you not, I started gagging because of some of the art panels. Um, it's just the art style in it. It just creeps me out so much. <laughs> As always, Junji Ito has multiple little stories in his volumes. I'm in the second story currently. But it is just creepy and it makes me really uncomfortable. So if somehow you don't know Junji Ito, he is a psychological horror writer that is very, very, very famous. Definitely none of his like other ones really seemed that interesting, so I picked up this one. There is one that I really want to read. I'll put it up on screen because I actually forget the title of it. So I actually just want to put this clip in real quick. I actually just went to the mall later on in the month of January and I got Black Paradox by Jinji Ito. I'm super, super excited to read it. I picked this up at Barnes & Nobles because I was able to run up um, before the end of the month. So there you guys go. I did end up picking up Black Paradox. <laughs> The one looked really interesting and the stories on the inside did too so i'm happy that i picked it up it is really interesting so far and i am enjoying it um so yeah that is the liminal zone by jenji ito so those are all the volumes um so i will see you guys in the next clip